hi beautiful family welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of seeing my face my name is Chile Chile James and I'm a youtuber based in Abuja so I make my videos from Abuja in Nigeria okay so guys this is not going to be like my regular videos so today I want to quickly talk about something I saw on YouTube this evening I was just scrolling on YouTube and then I saw Lily Pope. Lily Pope is a very, you know, she's a very popular YouTuber that is based in Oka. I saw a video she made. It was more like an announcement that she's pregnant. And guys, I was shocked because I learned a lot of lessons from her story. I've learned a lot of lessons from her video. I've been subscribed to uh, Lily Pope's channel since I think last year. Before I started a YouTube channel, I used to watch her videos, but soon after I joined YouTube, I got officially subscribed to her channel. I will even lie, I don't watch all her videos, I watch those that I can and those that I can't, but I just enjoy her content. Because one thing about Lily Pope, she is so real, she's so real, like she shows her life as it is. So last year, she made a video talking about her IVF experience. So apparently, she tried IVF and it failed. So she made a video telling us about how you know she regrets not sharing that IVF experience right from the beginning on YouTube. You know this thing about uh, this mindset about you don't share your good news or you don't share things when they are in process so that you don't lose them. Do you get what I mean? That's why she didn't share because uh, people advised her that you know she can keep it. Let she should keep it discreet so that you know. When it's fully really mature, she can now share. So she she talked about her regrets of not sharing from the one because in the process of that IVF, she made a mistake. You know, you can just watch, go to her channel and watch the video. I'll leave, I'll leave her channel name here. So she made a mistake in the process of her IVF, and that mistake. She said that if she had known from the beginning, she would have even you know gone ahead and spent all the money she spent and even attempted you know doing it with the grade of X she had. So because she didn't have enough information on that, she went ahead and did it, and the IVF failed. So she was she was just ranting about her regret that if she had known, she would have you know documented. Just talked about it on YouTube. Excuse me, guys, I want to say. She have just talked about it on YouTube from day one, from the beginning. She would have shared, you know, the whole thing. And then she, she knows that, you know, her YouTube subscribers and her fan base would have given her, you know, genuine advice. And maybe somebody would have just mentioned, you know, that thing. She made that mistake on in the comments and she would have picked it. So she said in that video that in her next, <clears throat> her next attempt, she's going to share everything. She's not going to keep withdraw anything again that she's done without being discreet or anything like that. She's going to share anything from the phone and carry everybody out. So I was just so happy. And also, something that struck me when she made that video, she sounded so confident. She said that this coming year, that which is this year, she is sure she will have a baby. Like her faith marveled me because when I watched that video, I said to myself, How can this lady be saying this like in a national TV? In, yes, of course, it's national TV. She are saying it and putting it out there in public for everybody that wants to watch to watch. Like, what if, what if it doesn't happen for you? Like, how can you sound so confident about that? But you know, if you watch that video, you see the passion at which she was saying it. She had so much faith. She had so much confidence. She said that she is sure in this 2022 she will have a baby and she will come and share it. So that that war. And when I when I watched her. It kind of, I was, when I say scared for her, I'm like, I'm praying for her to, for it to happen for her, of course, I wish I would. Oh, like, saying it here, what if it doesn't happen? Like, how would you feel and all that? But, I'm, like, I was marveled. Even videos after that, in her subsequent, you know, vlogs and videos, you would see her talk about how she's convinced she's going to have a baby. She would talk about her baby that is coming. Like, you know, she was so positive. And that is what struck me most about her like her positivity towards regardless of how long she has waited i think she has tried to conceive for like six years she has a daughter that is about six years old and you know even after six years her faith is still on the rise her faith is still on fire like you need to hear her talk i mean you need to hear the way she talks with so much confidence like i know i'll have this baby i'm not close to her i don't know her personally i'm just talking of based on, on what i see on her videos based on the vlogs that she made like when she talks she talks about her baby even when she did a q and a with her husband she talked about her baby that is coming and i don't know if she was pregnant i don't think she was pregnant then so like it spoke 
he spoke to me. I'm like, wow, I admire this lady's courage. I admire her faith. I admire, and now God has done it for her. God has done it for her. She put up a video earlier. Just I saw it just a few minutes before I just said to make this video. And I was in her pregnancy. I'm like, like this God, this God. My God. Guys, I'm just so excited. Like I'm the one that is pregnant. I'm so excited. If you have not tried to conceive for a baby and failed, you don't understand. I've been in those streets, so I understand what it means to get lots of negative on the strip test or try over and over again. Have to go to the doctors, go through pain when you don't have the baby yet. I mean, fall sick maybe because of one medication you have taken or the other, and yet you have not yet pregnant. It is a lot. Like it is a lot. So I'm just genuinely happy for her and genuinely excited for her and what i admire most about her is her courage i admire her faith guys i'm just i'm just happy like this is me i'm just happy that like this happened for me so guys that's what i've come here to share with you guys see eh, there's nothing god cannot do there is absolutely nothing god cannot do once you believe him do your own part. Believe him. Confess it. Just do your part. Don't bother about how. Just do your own part. Believe him. Don't bother about how or when it will happen. God always comes through. God always comes through. I'm so excited for her. I'm so happy. She has not given the details of, you know, how it happened. You know, she just announced it. She said she'll be making you know of course subsequent videos to tell us how she found out how she announced her husband and all of that and i'm so excited i'm looking forward to watch those videos so i'm just here to pass this message across it doesn't matter what it is that is delaying in your life or it seems as if it's taking a lot of time or proving tough your job is to believe god and also when you believe him don't contradict your belief by your actions speak what you believe act according to how you believe and according to what you believe and God will definitely come true for you. God will definitely show up. Look at Lady Pope. Like her life is an open testimony. She is an open testimony because she has carried everybody along from the one. We have watched her, you know, cry, get emotional about her TTC stories. And, you know, I've just felt her pain. Sometimes when she's sharing her story or things she has been through, I just feel her pain because I understand. I've been in those shoes. I understand where she's coming from. I understand how hurtful it can be. And, God has done it. If you have not tried to conceive a baby before and failed, you may not even understand. But I'm so happy for her. I understand the gravity of this good news. I understand the gravity of this miracle. You don't know when God wants to come through. He comes through regardless. He cuts across everything the doctor has to say. Like, he just shows up. Like, he shows up and shows up. Like, every other thing, he just kicks it aside. Maybe doctors have said a lot or so many things happen with your health. Everything is confusing to you. You are beginning to even get to the point of, are you even sure this will happen for you? When God wants to show up for you, yeah, let me tell you guys, he shows up. He shows up. Like, I'm so excited for Lily Pope. And, you know, her testimony is a big deal because she has carried everybody along from the one. Her process of trying to conceive and all that and she has just announced her pregnancy you can go onto her channel and watch it and she has promised to carry us along which i'm also excited about uh, from this her first trimester up until she has her baby and i sure i'm sure and i am sure and i know that god who has given her this baby will preserve it and she will have her bouncing baby in nine months time or whenever i don't know when god i'm so happy for her i'm so happy so guys this is all I have to say. Thank you guys for tuning in. I didn't even plan this video. I thank God I'm able to just sit down and film this video now. So guys, thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. Thank you for watching me to this point. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do me a favor. Get subscribed to this channel. Click on that like button. Drop a comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Till some other time. Bye guys.